I'm Lynn Hansen from Volga, South Dakota. I work in Brookings at Quality Tool. I had a herniated disc and a pinched nerve, which was uh, kind of par uh, paralyzing my left leg. My herniated disc was actually on the inside of the vertebrae instead of the outside of the vertebrae like usual. So it was a little more complicated. So I ended up uh, staying two days in Sioux Falls. And then when I was released, I was released with a walker and obviously problems getting up and down steps, in and out of vehicles. So that's why they or suggested home health care. After I got released, yes, uh, Chris was her name, my nurse. Uh, she was awesome. I, I actually looked forward to her visits every other day. And so taking my vitals and making sure I was using that breathing apparatus and anything I needed. Not only was she did the medical part, but even our little visits. I mean, it's surprising how it makes a person feel better when you sit there all day by yourself. And so, but yep, like I say, they were an amazing team. And, and I believe it was Sarah that was my physical therapist. And Tara was my occupational therapist. All three of them were just, I mean, amazing. They treated me like family. <laughs> my first visit was from Tara. She was my occupational therapist. She came in, made sure that I was able to take a shower, uh, my walker. I didn't have a tray on it, which I didn't realize uh, could be equipped with a tray because while I was home alone during working hours, um, as far as making my own meals, getting my coffee and stuff, that was a huge help. And then they also equipped me with a reacher that I carry on my walker. So any that way I don't have to bend over or reach above my shoulders for anything. And then my physical therapist, Sarah, um, she was a huge help. She helped me as far as uh, once I started feeling a little better, getting out of the house. Like if I wanted to go check the mail down the steps, up the steps, and as far as um, they call it BLT, no bending, lifting, twisting. So she taught me a lot of good ways of doing that and like putting my socks on. And as far as getting out to appointments, uh, that was a huge help because I would have had to have my daughter or my wife leave work, come get me, take me to my appointments and then take me back home, make sure to get me in the house where they everything was right there at home. Like I say, they actually taught me some stuff that I didn't know and showed me some easier ways to do things and as far as getting around. For example, getting in and out of my truck. I never would have get, I, because once I graduated, I was like, hmm, how am I gonna get in my four wheel drive truck? Well, we went out to the garage, and luckily I have nerve bars on my truck. But yeah, she showed me how to step up, turn, get in the seat, turn, and without lifting, bending, twisting. And yeah, you know, when you're a regular person like me, you'd never think about easy stuff like that. They know an easier way to do it and how to make life easier, and as far as on your body and stuff when you're trying to do recovery. When they were finished, usually it was like at the end of the week, whatever, then they would update Dr. Hanneman or my surgeon in Sioux Falls as far as how my progress was going. And when I got towards the end of being released from home health care, then they all gave me the okay that I was ready to graduate and move on to outpatient physical therapy. I was actually kind of sad to see him go. <laughs> Say they would come on a Tuesday and then come back on a Thursday. Um, like my nurse, Chris, she would ask me if I'd been working with the breathing machine and she would t check like my 
feet and toes to see if I've been uh, doing the exercises and my progress. And same with my physical therapist and then my occupational therapist. Um, she would check with me weekly as far as, okay, now were you able to get in the shower by yourself or did you still need assistance? And there too, towards the end, I was able to get in the uh, shower by myself and use the shower chair by myself. And now I was actually able to stand and hold the handicap bar without the shower chair. So yes, they were a huge help. And as far as following me up uh, on a daily basis or every other day and weekly basis, I don't think I, I don't think it would have went as well as what it did because I wouldn't have had that interaction throughout the day, every other day. I think I'm further with home health care than if I would have been having to go out to appointments every other, say every other day or whatever. I would recommend home health care uh, to other people because it makes life so much easier as far as how mine went. And I mean, if you do need the assistance of a wheelchair, I would say a walker, even in some cases a cane, like if it's in the winter time, because I am a little worried about that if it's icy or whatever, I would highly suggest home health care. I mean, the one-on-one -on -one attention is so much better, I feel, and I'm gonna say it again, as far as I was treated more like family than a patient, I feel. Are you one of Brookings Health System's grateful patients who would like to give back to us? Learn more about how you can give back at brookingshealth.org slash mythanks.